Right. Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. No surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. Life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with likeable, lovable, completely huggable. It's life with Louie. You could say Grunewald and I met the day before we were born, and we've been best friends ever since. Hi, honey, now. Smile for the kid. What? Don't throw anything at me, dear. Oh, he's... Our families grew up together. We shared everything. The good. Hey, give me the... The bad. Help! And the ugly. But like all friendships, ours would be tested by something unexpected, something known as... Take your kid to work day. Some idea of my life. What about sending your kid to work while you stay home and take a nap day? You know, you realize they're announcing the promotion today. Nothing like a little humiliating rejection to teach the offspring about the real world. I hope they announce my name so I can turn them down. That's right. Hey, Dad, do they have lunch at work? You kidding? It's the best part of the day. It's the only reason I go. All right. The widget XR200, the finest widget in the Western world. So without this puppy, the world might just stop revolving. Dad, how do you know when it's quitting time? Well, when your feet feel like they've been stapled to the floor, your back feels like your spine's been ripped out, and your head's pounding like Count Basie's orchestra. Then it's quitting time? No, it just means you have another half hour to go. Wonder what they're doing in math class. Attention floor workers. We are pleased to announce Mr. Grunewald has been promoted to lower middle management. Congratulate the newest manager in charge of widget tightening quality control. Grunewald? Can't wait to see the look on their faces when you turn them down. <laughs> Come on, son. We're going upstairs. Hey, wait. Ah, oh, you gonna wait till you get upstairs to turn them down? <laughs> Get on there, Chirp. Good See you, Louie. Yeah. See you, Goon. Now, Andy, I think Earl's promotion is good news. Oh, yeah? I'm telling you, this changes everything. We can't be friends with the Grunewalds anymore. He speaks a different language now. He's a suit. And what are you, Slacks? Let me show you something. It's very simple. We're yam. A side dish. Tasty, yes. Filling, absolutely. Now, Grunewald, he used to be a yam. But now, through forces beyond all control, he's a main course. Yam on the inside, pork chop on the outside. There's a war going on for his soul. Side dish versus main course. Anyone want to guess who wins? The yam just falls right off. Pork chops win every time. Thanks, Dad. Really clears things up. Hmm. So a couple of weeks went by, and we hadn't seen much of the Grunwalds. But I wasn't worried. Maybe his father was a pork chop. But Mike and I, oh, oh, we would be yams forever. Hey, guys. Long time no see. Cool. A night sniffer dog of justice lunchbox. Wow. Where'd you get it? One of Dad's new co-workers knows night sniffer's next door neighbor. Oh, come on. Hey, Anderson! Here goes the lunch room. Is that chocolate milk? What can I say? My dad started buying the good stuff. Look at that! It hasn't even expired yet. And the bathrooms have this thing that squirts liquid soap right into your hands. Oh, oh. and get this! The coffee is free. Is that baloney? Uh, yeah. What's the matter? For mental load not good enough for you anymore? I guess with all that money you save on coffee, he can afford finer lunch meats. Ah. Hey, Grunewald, we're playing kickball on Saturday. You in or what? Thanks, but I can't. We're going skiing this weekend. So what? My dad takes us skiing every winter. Really? Oh, yeah. Aspen, the Rockies, uh, Mount uh, Rushmore. Skied down Lincoln's nose once. Whoa. How come you never said anything about this before? 
I don't like to brag. You know how it is when people find out. Will you teach me to slalom? Can I see your trophies? You have trophies? This is great, Louie. You should come skiing with us this weekend. What? The truth is, I'm not such a good skier. But if an expert like you showed me a few things... I'm gonna call my dad. Maybe your whole family can come. Oh, wasn't it nice of the Grunwalds to invite us to go skiing? I don't buy it. He's tying with us. He's the little people. Wants to see us squirm. Oh, Andy, no one wants to see you squirm. Believe me, I've seen it, and it's not attractive. I can't wait to learn how to ski. Do the Grunwalds know we're beginners? Absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> why should they? Louie, we've never been skiing before. I'm sure the Grunwalds will be happy to show us some of their fancy lower middle management maneuvers. Mm -hmm. Mom, I don't feel so good. Maybe we shouldn't go. It's just your conscience, dear. What? I said it's the altitude. You're conscious of the altitude. It'll pass. You know, Grunwald's been acting real strange lately. He keeps talking about something called a double spread eagle corkscrew. Like I'm supposed to know all those fancy upper class beverages. <laughs> well, that's funny. Mrs. Grunwald keeps asking me about aspen and veil. I tell her aspirin's for headaches and veil's for funerals. It's all my fault. I told Grunwald that we were a family of expert skiers and go skiing every winter because he had unexpired chocolate milk and a night's never lunchbox. <laughs> Expert skiers. Would have loved to see Grunwald's face when he heard that. Louie, how many times have I told you that lying is wrong? Isn't that right, Andy? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lying's a terrible thing. As soon as we get there, you're telling the Grunwalds the truth. But, but Mom... Yeah, let's not be hasty. Not another word. Oh. Now remember, Louie, as soon as we see the Grunwalds, you tell them the truth. That's right, the truth and nothing but the truth. Of course, nothing wrong with a little embellishment here and there. There he is. That's the kid I was telling you about. Boy, he doesn't look like much of a hot dogger to me. Hey, Anderson! About time you got here. Didn't know you had an itinerary, Grunwald. I was just telling everyone how you skied on all seven continents. Tell me, the glacier skiing you did in the Arctic, how does it compare to Everest? But I didn't... Wow, is it true they named one of the Italian Alps after you? You kidding? They named a whole mountain range after me. Ever hear of that, Andes? <laughs> now, Aura, you must tell us all about the latest European ski fashions. Is it true? Imitation leg warmers are bad? Louie's been skiing all over the world. Isn't that what you said? Oh, uh, well... Yeah, we'll see how he does in the Junior Masters Cup. Oh, please tell me that's some kind of athletic supporter. No, it's a big ski competition. I signed you up so you can show these amateurs how it's done. Oh, great. Oh, no, you don't understand. I've never really lived in Europe. That's exactly how I feel whenever I'm there. Those stretch pants are fabu. You must tell me where you got them. It's just a simple polyester blend. Oh, it's what you do with it, Aura. Oh, love it when an underdog fabric makes a comeback. <laughs> Watch you about skied a giant yeti on the slopes of Kilimanjaro. Skiing the Rockies is as easy as taking a nap. For weeks, we've been wanting to go on a backcountry ski trip. Quite right. What do you say, Anderson? Care to lead the way? You kidding? I'm your man. Just call me uh, Grizzly Anderson. <laughs> Next contestant for the expert class mogul run, Iceman Anderson! Hey, they wanted a middle name. Mm. Hey, Grunwald, looks like your friend's turning green. <laughs> <laughs> a less experienced skier might be worried right about now, but not you. Right, Iceman? Oh, yeah. Go get him, Louie! <laughs> Reminds me of the time I crawled across the Siberian tundra on my hands and knees. <laughs> <laughs>
Lost four fingers of frostbite. Of course, they grew back. Had nothing to eat for a month but snow, snow, and snow. Came on holidays and special occasions, we got slush. Anderson? And then, three weeks in, we discovered the snow and slush are the same thing. Almost had a mutiny. Please step off the lift. Just practicing emergency evacuation procedures. Be prepared. That's my motto. Uh, uh. I thought that was a Boy Scout's motto. I wrote it for him. Okay, let's get moving. Come on, pick up the pace, people. Should we be concerned about avalanches? What's to be concerned about? It's just snow. How bad can snow really hurt you? Oh. Ooh. Mom, isn't this fun? Oh my, not as limber as I used to be. Ooh. Aura, are you all right? Ooh. That was a doozy. No, not your beautiful ensemble. Oh, it's just a tiny hole. I'll run over to the lodge and patch it up in a jiffy. Don't go too far. I'll be right back. Intermediate class. Piece of cake. Yoo-hoo! I seem to have... Lost and found to the right. Bathrooms to the left. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, not quite. <laughs> oh, poor little fella. Hmm, this might work. Hello, me again. Listen, I found a glove and, well, it's not mine, but could I just borrow it? Lady, that glove's been there for three years. You can have it. Oh, aren't you sweet? Bye-bye now. Ah, nothing like a beautiful wilderness morning. Makes you want to sing at the top of your lungs. Anyone up for a round of Toria Dory? I'll start. Toria Dory, don't spit on the floor. Use the cuspidori. That's what it's for. Join in, fellas. What's the matter? Jack Frost nipping at your lungs? Come on, daylight's wasting. What does that sign up ahead say? It says, Be quiet, avalanche area. Can't you read? Um, I just remembered. I have to call my stockbroker before the end of the business. Cheerio. Me too. I've got lunch reservations at the Summer Lodge. You know, Anderson, I'm beginning to suspect you don't know what you're doing. Well, you can just kiss those negative thoughts goodbye, Grunwald. I'm in total control here. Control here. Control here. I admit, Louie, when you first told me you were a good skier, I thought you were making it up. Whoa. Well, while we're on the subject of stuff I made up... And now, the next contestant in the expert class downhill run, Iceman Anderson! You can do this, Louie! You are the Iceman! No, I'm not! I can't do it! The truth is, I've never been skiing before! <laughs> I thought maybe I could blow it off, but I can't! Hey! Where did everyone go? Aura Anderson, you're a fountain of fashion tips. The rip says, out of my way, but the glove says, give me a hand. And, oh, Anderson Original, I must have it, and have it now. To the glove store, ladies. Now, where did Tommy scamper off to? Remember, lean forward, keep those knees bent, ski tips up. This is real fun. I'm out of here. Events. This last one should be no problem. Why? Is it the sip hot chocolate in the lodge event? <laughs> it's almost that easy. It's the dead man's folly ski jump. Oh, look, there it is now. <gasps> That's it. I quit. Iceman, what's wrong? I can't ski, all right? I've never been skiing before in my life. I don't ski. 
What are you trying to tell me here? Oh, you were bragging about your new lunchbox and your dad's job and stuff. So I made up all the junk about skiing. You made it up? If it wasn't for your stupid lower middle management chocolate milk, I'd be playing kickball right now with my real friends. Fine, go ahead. I don't need you. I've got new friends now. Oops, sorry. Oh, yeah? Well, you've been cold to me ever since I got the promotion. You mean the promotion you've been rubbing in my nose every day? Maybe, if you knew your widgets, you would have been promoted too. What? I know my widgets better than any man alive. Since I was 12 years old, I slept with a widget clutched in my fist. I legally changed my middle name to Widget. Yeah, Andy Widget Anderson. A W A. Why'd you do that? Was the name Nutcase already taken? We're getting crazy! Hey, hang on, kids! We'll save you! What's going on here? I don't know! I'm the lower middle manager in charge of widget tightening for the John Doe Tractors. Step aside. Come on, what's the holdup? I, I don't recognize this widget. It, it must be a new model. You're soft, Grunewald. You've been off the floor too long. Just release the pressure from the fourth casing. Let go of the rotator. I can't. You okay? Yeah. Andy, I'm sorry. Me too, Earl. You're the best friend a nutcase like me ever had. Thanks, Widget. Sorry, Goon, for everything. No, I'm sorry. I was trying to impress those dumb kids. Friends? Friends. Come on, let's get out of here. Maybe they'll let us take the chair down. No, I'm gonna do it. Louie, really, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. Out of my way, rookie. Hey. <laughs> I can honestly say that our first ski trip was a great success. Not because I won the gold medal. Here you go, kid. You deserve it. Yeah, I know. But because the friendship between the Grunewalds and the Andersons had been put to the test and had grown even stronger. Anderson? Grunewald, what are you doing down here? Company cutbacks. Lower middle managers in charge of widget quality control were the first ones cut. Well, well, well. Look who's here. You come to do some slumming, Grunewald? Hey! Who do you think you're talking to? Grunewald's the best widget tightener in the state of Wisconsin! First guy who made it off the floor in 10 years. Management obviously has no idea what they're missing. We're lucky to have you back. Come on! I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Well, what do you think? Mmm, overrated. So, kickball this weekend? Sorry, can't do it. Well, what is it this time, goon? Well, ever since my dad changed back to his old job, he's had all this free time on his hands. He's taking us rafting this weekend. Really? You guys go on the best trips. What's the big deal? We go rafting all the time. White water rafting? White water, blue water, mauve. We've done all the colors of the rainbow. Then why don't you come with us this weekend? I'll go call my dad right now and let him know you're coming. See you on the rapids, Louie. Don't forget your helmet, Dad. My family goes over Niagara Falls every summer. This is the last time I bail you out. 